Hi bougie cuties, welcome back to my channel. Um, how are you? <laughs> I don't know what this vlog is gonna be called. We're just gonna roll with it. I feel like going to the hair store is like therapy for me. So I went and I got some, I got, I got some things. I went to the traditional Keelan Shepherd, if you're from the city, you know. It's just, going to the hair store is just so therapeutic to me, and like, I could spend so long, but like, I had went there at a time where they were almost closing, so I felt kind of bad. Oh my gosh! Like, my life, this, this bed right now, my bed's not that messy, but like, this bed right now is literally like, the epitome of my life. The bed was like totally half made and I have a whole bunch of laundry. It's so funny, I seen a meme on Instagram right now and it was literally like, if you want to be productive, like throw your clean laundry on your bed, which I do, but then I end up just sleeping <laughs> next to it if I'm really tired. But anyways, therapy is the beauty supply store. First thing I have, I always make a joke on Instagram, it's not really a joke. Make sure the back of your head does not look ridiculous, if you know you know. I needed like a mirror so I could see the back of my head. I would usually take my iPhone camera and just take a picture of the back of my head like in the mirror and then look at it that way but this would be really helpful like with a mirror behind me and then I can just see like blah blah. This was like six bucks. I would like go on Amazon and see these for like ten dollars. That's why I'm like honestly just going to the beauty supply store. Going to places in person is just best. I got a round brush because like, I want to start silk pressing my hair properly. Like, I feel like my hair is very thick. Not super coarse, just I have a lot of strands of hair. And each individual strand is, like, really dense. So I just feel like I gotta, I gotta just work, work in. This looks like a good round brush because it's, like, boar bristle. Not, like, the plastic ones. Wide tooth comb. I got her in pink. I totally didn't need this because I finally found my wide tooth comb in black but she's pink now I have a pink one this was supposed to be a wax stick that my friend gave me maybe I'll talk about it in another clip she got me the TGIF wax stick you know like one of those wax sticks because right now I'm like going through this like hair dilemma and it's like if you guys watch my short video on how to grow hair fast um I promise you it works I'm having all these short pieces in my hair like growing so they're like this and that took me maybe about two and a half months to grow but like now they gotta be laid like they gotta lay down so my friend gave me a wax stick so when I'm straightening my hair like I can lay it down I'm not trying to look like I have these like little cowlicks or little pieces sticking up I also got got to be glued because this is like I hear this stuff is good I want to use this for like doing ponytails and stuff not really my wash and goes why do I buy? Oh, my edges. I want to use this for my edges. I know a lot of people use this stuff for like wigs and whatnot. This was $10. I'm so used to spending less than like $5 on like Eco Styler Gel or just. So for this size, it better be good. It better be good. I messed up. I got a traditional hot comb thinking this will help lay like my little short hair situation going on underneath it's not that bad i'm just being extra right now <laughs> but um but the thing about the traditional hot comb like this just brings back so many memories of like my mom doing my hair when i was younger and like the <sighs> you have to like blow the heat down but i'm forgetting how hot and how damaging hot combs are to your curl pattern and I like to wear my hair both ways I like to wear it straight and I like to wear it naturally curly so this going up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit like why is that even legal <laughs> so and this doesn't have a heat control setting so that's what I was trying to say um, and the lady stickered final sale on it and now I know why so I should have bought one from Amazon for the heat setting Ugh, I'll figure it out she said I can only bring this back if the power doesn't work, but I don't want to burn my hair off, so I feel like I should just like give this away to someone. It was really only $22, so like it's not the end of the world. Did I mention why I colored my hair yet? I don't even really have an answer. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing, so I'm darker right now. Um, why did I do it? 
I'm torn. I'm not gonna lie, I'm torn right now. So I love my chocolate hair. I love and I was having fun with the brown. At the end of the day, I know I personally look best like with my features and whatever with dark hair, like my natural dark brown color or jet black. Um, I know that for a fact, but I was having fun with the brown. But then I just randomly was like, let's just try and tone her darker. And now I think I wanna keep her like this. I don't know i totally used something else but my stylist was literally gonna beat my ass if i used that. i picked up this color lux thing it's like a depositing i'm not gonna share the products that i used right now because i just i don't want to have anyone come back to me and be like today and this is exactly why because i bought this to use next because i'm starting to fade in like certain areas and this is like a, a depositing color mask so it's a hair mask but it deposits like dark brown color on top of like light brown hair and I took a picture and sent this to my stylist she's like don't you dare she's like I I don't trust that so she told me to go back and get the IGK one apparently this one is really recommended so I'm gonna go and pick that up tomorrow so I can fix these patchy paces because yeah I don't I don't want any patchiness can you return from Sally's I don't know I hope so this is the bad boy that helped me grow my hair. I will link her down below. So great. Like, I love her. And I'll be repurchasing you so the cows come home. Um, it's a little scary, though. I need to make a full video on, like, my hair growth journey and maybe Because I was, I was pretty good at it. And then I fell off. And then... I had to like regrow a lot of hair and now this is really helping so honestly I 10 out of t 11 20 out of 10 recommend this um, oil so give it a shot it, it's actually like the hype is not just there for no reason like it's worth it then this is my favorite uh, gel for wash and goes this is the Miel coil sculpting custard love her so much but another one this one is from the same pomegranate and honey line and it's called maximum hold gel styler some people on tiktok were saying this might even have less hold than this but this is this feels a little thicker like the size of this is bigger and the gel feels thicker so it might work i don't know i'm going somewhere and i feel like i ne might need this we're gonna see if it works How are you? I hope you're doing well. Wait, can you see me? Let's let's pray you can see me because I'm trying to figure things out. We are in better spirits. Last month was was not it. It wasn't it, let me tell you. But maybe I'll tell you another day because I'm finally like in a betterish mood. But um so I'm gonna do some teeth whitening right now. I have some stuff with me here, and I'm a natural cutie. I like to do things naturally before taking drastic measures, and we're gonna whiten our teeth naturally. I have some baking soda. My dad used to give me and my sister baking soda all the time when we were younger, so I'm like, why don't I continue this <laughs> now that I'm adult? I have some peppermint, peppermint oil, just for little freshness <laughs> I have a cup because I'm probably gonna make a mess <laughs> coconut oil oil pulling my dad used to do this all the time too I'm like come on get with it I have some food coloring is this gonna go well I don't know I heard like purple basically cancels out the yellow in your teeth right follow me hopefully I'm following myself I went to find purple I went to find purple food coloring can I speak today? I I went to find purple food coloring and I couldn't find it. But the girl at the store was like, just mix red and blue together and it makes purple. So let's hope we don't make a mess. How am I gonna? Cause I don't want to have to squirt everything out onto my toothbrush every single time. I need to like somehow mix these two bottles together. That's why I got the cup. But then how am I gonna pour it back in? 
I need like a funnel. Do I have a funnel? And I'm wearing a cute set right now. I need to really be careful. mix them and then have two bottles of it I totally seen this on TikTok by the way and I'm like this is gonna be busting yeah because I can't pour let me see if I have a funnel <laughs> please Jesus no it's like it like just fits okay we're gonna we're gonna work with it okay so red and blue. Let me get I feel like I need to stir this. Yo, if this works. It just looks really blue. This is gonna be a fail. <laughs> this looks dummy blue. I googled it. I googled it. Red and blue makes purple. It's a white bathroom. I need to be careful. <laughs> this isn't safe. Let's just pour a little bit and see if it goes. Frick. Yo, I just made a mess. It's okay. The mess isn't on me. Oh, I'm such a cook. Man. This is what happened. This is what happened. So I was like totally trying to like pour it. I was totally trying to pour it on um top of my mirror thing. At least I didn't get it on the countertop like that, you know? It's totally not on the countertop. Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. This funnel is not even funneling. I don't want to like expose my teeth color on YouTube, but uh, like I need to work on this section. This section is not so bad, but it can be better. The front is not so bad. But I can see how the bluish color, purpley color cancels things out and makes it look like my two front teeth look a lot brighter. Like maybe I need to focus it on the sides. Um, and who knows, maybe me doing this do I have time to do this every day? At least a couple times a week, you know, would be great. But I think I heard oil pulling is probably one of the best things to do. And like, if you brush hard enough, you can get rid of a lot of that food coloring. But it's still kind of like a tinge, like a, like a hint of it there. So I'm going to oil pull and maybe that'll help swish things away. So take like a spoon. I don't like to take too much. One time I took too much and it was just like... Maybe like, oh, I was gonna say one. <laughs> okay. It's just so weird because it's like when you put something in your mouth, you want to swallow it, but but don't. Get on her knee. She only coming for six. 
just beat in that bitch. I still got my foot on in it. Uh, finna put on the wrist. We used to drop it at X. Uh, from the strong, gotta keep you a gun. Not a regular bitch. Uh, fucking hope I don't weaken. You guys were overexposed, so let's see. If I'm learning, I don't wanna like make it super dark in here, cause like the lighting helps, but I don't wanna be like. Is that better? Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. So I'm about to eat brunch. I felt really bloated because I'm really trying to be in tune with like what my body wants recently and like eating more whole foods um, that are not from a package. And it's just so crazy how like, I'm gonna do this at the top at the same time. It's just so crazy how they don't teach you in school to listen to your body, like feeling bloated versus full. Like just me recognizing that and me shifting what I eat just so I feel more comfortable and digestion is better. They teach it so confusing. They make things so confusing. Digestion really doesn't need to be that confusing. So I, I don't know, I did some like roasted potatoes and I ate it like two days in a row and I've just been feeling very, so I think I'm just gonna have like some berries and chia seeds and like coconut milk or something. Yeah, how have you been? How have you been? Are you too close? Sorry, I was, I was totally out of frame. I don't realize I'm like that tall on camera. <laughs> what I like strongly encourage everybody to watch what they eat and take care of your health. I was also saying the other clip I was gonna talk about like <laughs> I was feeling the other month. I feel like recently a lot of people have been taking me for idiot and like come up with multiple reasons as to why but I'm not gonna share it on the internet. But I just strongly encourage you guys not to take people for advantage um, and use people because it's not cute and it's not nice and as people say you'll get your karma but I'm Christian so God will avenge for me. Am I out of chia seeds? No. Ain't no way. Or just people who like mistreat people for no reason. I really don't understand it. Like you need to check yourself and recognize that even if you're going through something in life, don't take it out on other people. Like I can share this one example with you. Like I walk into the store and I had bought like these shoes and I got an email confirmation saying that they delivered to the store. So I went to pick it up. So I walk in and I'm like, hey, I'm here to pick up a pair of shoes that I ordered. So like I paid for them already. And then the girl's like, what's your order number? So I give it to her. She's like, it's not there. I basically just told that entire story and it wasn't filming. Isn't this so great? And I said, okay, I'm like, can you try again? She types it in. It's not here. You can call customer service. And I don't know what like this girl was on that day. Like she was the manager of the store. Like she seemed like she was probably making good money. Like she had a little engagement ring on her finger. And this is why you don't assume people's lives because could be going through something so much greater but this is why I always treat people with kindness and I was treating her with kindness I didn't judge her like I just you know was very kind and respectful but she wasn't giving that back she's like here's customer service I said okay I went outside I called customer service they're like your boots are there they should be there they were received by this employee on this date and I was like okay then so I'm not crazy I come back in the store on the phone with customer service she's touching my phone She's like, hello? They're like, yeah, so her boots should be there. It was received by this employee. And then after, um, she was just like, yeah, but she probably already picked them up. And I was like, now this shorty is accusing me of basically stealing. Basically like I'm coming back to get another pair of boots. So she goes to, back to the computer. And then she's like, what's your name? And I was like, Tanil. And she's like, This is her in the back of the store right now. She's in the back of the store. Here. Guys, like, I cannot make this up. Like, I don't know what it was that day. Maybe it was the hunting cap I was wearing and it triggered her. But, like, I was cute that day, not gonna lie. But, like, I don't know what other reason. She was probably having a bad day. But regardless, you don't take your bad days out on other people. 
And I just feel like I've been being a punching bag for people recently. And I'm like, what you're not going to do is that. I'm like, I'd like to return these. So then the other associate returned it for me. And I was like, is that your manager? She's like, yeah, the girl was so embarrassed. I'm like, she needs to watch herself. I didn't say it like that. I said it like professionally. And then I was like, I will call customer service. Like, I'm not that person. Like, I'm not trying to be a Karen or whatever and snitch on you. But like, you, at this point, you cross the line with me. You cross the line with me. Your customer service is poor. And like, if I'm going to talk to customer service, it's not for no reason. It's not because someone was not doing anything. What else? I just, I just don't get people. And I've had it up to here. And the chain of events after that, it just like it just kept getting worse and it was to the point where like I just feel like I can't really trust that many people I will say my immediate circle of people like god bless you like you guys are amazing and you make me believe that there are still genuine people in this world but like y'all need Jesus that's all I'm gonna say y'all the whole world needs Jesus because frankly if you don't have him in your life babes you're gonna be mistreating every random Joe, Joe Schmo that you come across have fun with that like like you would be like oh yeah she's engaged like, and not that a man is always supposed to be a woman's happiness but the rock on this girl's finger was nice you like have a good job like you would think things are made for you they're not i guess not i don't know but regardless let's talk about what i bought from the ritzia <laughs> now i think you can see me <laughs> so sorry about all that but yeah it's just the series of events after that, I was just like. So lame. Like, you're literally so lame. But. I really haven't been shopping from Aritzia lately. I feel like I literally have everything. And that's why I did that Aritzia favorites of all time. Because I didn't have an Aritzia haul of recent items. Because it's just all the stuff I really, really liked over the years. So it's like one of my favorite things to eat, like just to like calm my stomach and like, but tastes good and then helps you like go to the washroom. Um, I'm not like backed up. I just feel bloaty, you know, I don't want to limit that. So we say snatched. So yeah. Okay. Right, see y'all. Yeah. Can you see me better now? Yeah, I picked up jumpsuits, of course. Turner Toe Color, because I have this color in like the long legging, like flare version. So I just thought this would be super cute for like the summertime. And then I also picked her up in black. I really, really like them. Like they're so, so, so flattering. And they just have the simple classic scoop and then the TNA in the back. And like just they give and like they, they just make me want to work out and do my pilates and just get on my fitness so i love them so much and like styled with if i like actually go out like wearing them like i'll wear like an oversized hoodie and like just be more covered up because like turtleneck i haven't worn turtlenecks in a really long time they're just so annoying when you have curly hair like to like get them over your head but then i put them over with my bonnet and then everything's fine but i like this color i thought it would be cute with my bottega bag but i feel like the colors are a little bit off i don't know i don't know Ooh, this this romper this jumpsuit the long sleeve with the with the shorts and it's like a square neck. This is so flattering. I wore this like on a night out for my girl's birthday. It was like an oversized fur coat. So, so, so flattering. Oh, this is another turtleneck that I bought. I think I'm yearning to wear turtlenecks again, regardless of how I wear my hair. So we're gonna see how this plays. I like this turtleneck. It's like this really pretty oatmeal color and it has thumb holes. I was like, thumb holes? They got me at some holes. I was like, yup. Really needed a long sleeve brown t-shirt. So I picked up this one, but I'm a little bit unimpressed. I just don't love this material. Um, it's slinky and nice, but like anytime I see ribbing, it just makes me think very casual. Like they don't like hold you in as nice. It's more of like a comfy, cozy look. But I like the chocolate brown of it, so 
This one, so cute. This baby pink t-shirt is just so cute. I don't know, but this shade of pink with that little white trim. I wanted a tank top like this, like a cami. I saw it like from somewhere else, so I think I'm gonna pick that up for the summertime. But this is the bad boy. I love her and I cannot wait to wear her. And everyone in there that day was so kind to me and so friendly and like, Aritzia, I know they have a bad reputation. Unlike that other girl at the other store, everyone at Aritzia is always so kind to me. Like this day, like the guy at the cash, like he gave me a free drink. And then after they forgot to take the sensor off my thing and then they're like, here's another free drink. <laughs> like they're so sweet. But I picked up this trench coat. Yeah, the girl who was helping me with this, God bless you, if you somehow find this video, like, you were so sweet and so patient with me, because I was torn between getting the large and the medium. I ended up going for the medium, but I was like, I still want that drapey, relaxed look, but I need to do this thing now where I don't buy too many things that are unflattering. I want it to be relaxed fitting, but not unflattering. So the medium gives me that look without drowning me out, and I'll show you um, guys how it looks. Um, but I just love buying things in sale season and then it's about to be the season that I can actually wear it so like these with some Rick O sneakers I don't have those sneakers yet but they'll be so cute and I love the back like all the little like placket details and like I like this this collar it's giving prim and proper but then you wear it with something slight you just say, ooh, but um, I'm probably going to juxtapose it. Like, I was telling the girl, I'm like, I don't want to look, no shade, like, I don't want to look like I'm going to work. Like, I don't want to look like I'm going to my office job, you know? That's why I wanted it oversized. I want it to look cool. Mm. I love her. I'm going to wear her a ton. My camera is telling me that my memory card's acting up, and it's just like, I really don't have time for nonsense. Went square for the new year, and frankly, like, I miss my long almond nails. They're my favorite things ever. Um, I've been wearing my nails almond for, like, maybe, like, two or three years now. Sometimes I would do coffin, so tapered square, but I like a tapered look to my nail. I feel like it matches, like, my nail bed style and, like, my like longer hands or fingers what was happening i was wearing my nails in long almond for about three to six months i was wearing them mainly mid-length but then i started wearing them long for about, about four months and like they were starting to break I was like you know what let me just cut them and start fresh i'm trying to take my vitamins more regularly so i just want to build long and strong nails so i can go back to my long almond and then hopefully and then hopefully right on time for my birthday in April, so yeah. But the shorties are cute. Short, short, short nails. I think square is the best. Mid-length, I like a coffin, a tapered square. And then long, I like almond. It's just a different vibe. Long almond gives classy, but like bad bitty because it's like long nails, but the shape is classy with the almond. Mid-length tapered square looks so good with colorful french tips so that's when i will do colorful french tips short just sharp square i love that that's just how i like my nails and by the way i get russian style manicures and it's the best thing russian manicures they pay so much attention to detail to your cuticle which is vital it just looks so clean and neat and like the style of nail is not super thick my girl doesn't do that like they look like my natural nails which these are my natural nail lengths but I have gel overlay so it helps them not break as easily overall I don't get like tips or extensions if one of them will break then she'll add like an extension to it just to match the rest but um, for the most part they haven't been breaking until I started getting them really long almond so I'm like let's keep up with my health so that maybe we can have long and strong nails and hair as well too and speaking of hair um i didn't really realize it but people have been giving me like feedback on instagram and i think you guys want me to do like hair videos and at first i was like <laughs> i was like but hair is not my passion I'll do like more beauty videos this year for you guys i'm still learning so much um but i will definitely like share with you along the way
I'm not gonna lie, my hair is a really like sensitive topic to me at the moment. I'm like on a hair journey. But um, I will definitely roll out some videos for you guys. Did go back darker. My hair is toned. Oh, and I can show you like some of the products that I used. Basically have another like beauty supply haul right now. <laughs> I got the Revlon Jumbo Wave Master. So I've been wearing my hair like in waves recently and I love it. Like the look is just so... Mm, I love it so much. I posted a short about it um the other day so you guys can like watch that there's not much of a tutorial needed for this it's pretty straightforward so i will link it down below i got it from walmart but i've seen it on amazon for the same exact price so i will link it down below for you guys and it's baby pink it's really straightforward it just looks like this you put your hair in and then you like clamp it and you hold it down and you hold it down for like 10 seconds or so and then you go down the hair and do it again and do it again um, so yeah, this is the jumbo one. I think they make a smaller one. I'll probably do this with the straightener, but I don't know. I like this crimper idea. Like, it was a vibe. Because when I wear my hair straight, like I want like a couple of rollers, I will heat style my hair once. The beginning of the week when I wash it. Week, I won't put heat to my hair again. Maybe like once or so. Rollers, like for my bangs. To like keep them proper so I don't have to like redo my bangs every morning. I like the old school ones because <laughs> a lot of people are using the velcro ones and I get it with velcro the hair sticks and it doesn't fall off like at night but I just feel like that's gonna frizz up my hair and I have textured hair like that's gonna frizz up my hair I don't want to so I know people are using like the sock bun thing. I was gonna get flexi rods but then I was like I feel like these are bigger than the flexi rods. I don't know. We're going to navigate that and see how it goes. I am being a little cheap at the moment. <laughs> because my favorite deep conditioner of all time is the Amika one. But I just don't want to spend $50 on her right now. So I bought this one. I think this one was $17. This is a really good one from Shea Moisture. I really like this Manuka Honey one. This is a good leave-in moisturizer. My hair right now, it's on its journey. I had bleached it quite a bit and I didn't keep up with my protein treatments. Guys, if you have color treated hair, your hair will stay on your head if you keep up with your protein treatments. Don't be like me. Take your vitamins and do your protein treatments. A reparative leave-in. And literally my hair feels so soft and moisturized after using this. It literally, just when it feels like using this, it just literally feels like it's healing my hair. I want to like play around with my hair more. Usually I wear it curly, then I straighten it. Then I wear it curly, then I straighten it. Then I do some like half up, half down or whatever. But I want to play around with ponytails. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm watching some videos. So I got this like random <laughs> like body wave hair. I do like a straight kind of ponytail. And then I also got this like braiding hair because I want to do like a bubble braid and then I also want to try a regular braid, like a long one. So like a slick back ponytail with a braid. <laughs> um, I haven't been feeling it recently. I've been feeling more of like my curly hair or like straightening it and using the Revlon Wave Master. I've been feeling that recently. But when I'm in a bun mood, I am going to be using this. I can't wait. One of my favorite protein treatments of all time is the K18. My curls would look so juicy and lump with that thing you would never think I had color damage but I ran out of it and that's when my hair went downhill and now that thing is like a hundred dollars on Sephora like I'm gonna link it down below and if you guys if you guys have color treated hair and like you really need something to help your hair like like I recommend it I a thousand percent recommend it but for me right now girl I spent so much money in December I have six of the closest people to me it's their birthday in December like I, every December I'm just like, ugh, like let me recoup. Right now I'm finally recouped, but like dang. So I'll probably pick uh, the K18 up soon again. In the meantime, now I'm like trying to, I'm trying to stop my hair from like breaking so much. And I have used the Afoji. Afoji honestly is such an amazing brand like for protein treatments. So it's the two-step protein treatment. This thing smells like bum, 
but it works wonders. This protein treatment basically helps your hair for about six weeks, it says. Um, so yeah, I think it's coming up on a month. I might have to do it soon again. But it's a very liquidy thing. You have to pour it on your hair. Wait till it gets hard. Your hair is like rock solid hard. It's weird. And then after you use heat to pretty much make it hard. And then you rinse that out and you go in with the balancing moisturizer. And this immediately, my hair just felt a lot stronger. If you have heat damage and like you want to wear your hair curly but it's like stringy in some places, girl, use this. Your curls will bounce back. Like I remember, obviously if you have extreme excess heat damage, like it really might not help. But I've had times where I've straightened my hair and like the front of my hair was so limp because like that's where I would constantly try to be framing my face and it would go limp and even one time like one section didn't even curl up and I use this not many people talk about this and it's such a good affordable option it's still pricey ish like this is technically this size is 35 bucks and then this is 12 but they have a smaller one for I think like 11.99 or something like for you to use it like one time um, but in comparison to the $100 K18, it's worth it. And then I bought the shampoo for $10. Um, yeah, I'm just really trying to nurture my hair. I toned it darker. So if you want to ever go darker for like the fall or winter, but you have like light brown hair, um, I highly recommend the IGK Brown Bella. They have this in different colors. Um, that you can use it to like tone your hair darker they have a black one and I was like to my girl my stylist I was like should I get black she's like don't you dare because she thinks like come summertime I'm gonna want to be light brown again but I don't think I'm going back to light brown I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stay dark brown but never say never it's called a color depositing mask it works wonders like it covered up my hair it did take some time like I had to work in sections and with gloves and whatnot um but my hair is darker now and it hasn't really been rinsing out like I think a couple of places are like fading and I can redo it but for the most part every wash day I would use this or every other wash day so it's been staying it's been staying dark actually no I skipped like two or three wash days and it's still dark so honestly I highly recommend this they carry this at Sephora Talia Wah Wahid what would what, what he is that it is that how you pronounce it i'm really let down i heard so many good things about this brand i got the curling the curly oh i can't remember what it's called i think it's the popular one it's in my bathroom right now i don't like the texture my hair doesn't feel moisturized but i swear it's called a moisturizing thing and then i bought this one and this one still didn't work for me and that's when i i went back to my curls like the reparative leave-in that just nurtures my hair this i don't know it annoys me when I spend like $20, $30 on curly products and it just doesn't work. It flat out just doesn't work for my hair. I got another like round brush because I spoke about this one in the beginning of this video. But this is like, this is rough. Like I'm pulling out my hair with this. This is really like when my hair is healthy and like fully natural again, I can use this. Right now, I need the softer one. So this is like death to my hair because my hair is like breaking off. Oh, I also got this G Keratin Green Tea Restructurizer. This is just like a spritz. And this is good to like put in your hair. It says it activates with heat. Um, so I'll usually spritz this protein treatment in my hair before I straighten it because I'm about to put heat on my hair. Um, and then also too, some people like I think just spray this like in their natural hair too and then diffuse. Speaking of diffusing, I cannot find my diffuser attachment for my Dyson and I'm like really scared I left it. I went on a trip and I'm like, I really scared I left it in the hotel, but whatever. Oh, I got two packs of hair. I got one in like a slightly lighter brown color <laughs> for like if my hair fades and then I have like a darker brown for like right now. Whenever I go to the hair store, I can't not leave with a new bonnet. I forgot I bought this. Like, look at her. She's maroon. Oh, I think it's reversible. And it has this pink one. And it has a drawstring. I really like this. <gasps> this is so cute. I have literally five bonnets. But you can never have enough. Because, like, one will be in the laundry or... Koji-san. 
kojic acid soap is this a korean thing this was going viral a couple of years ago for like lightening like your underarms and like stuff i really want to use this on my back because like i have a lot of well it's subsided now like back knee and like i have scarring from like when i used to have it so i'm like trying to lighten that i think the acids in this are natural like fruit acids or something like that some yeah she is bomb okay i don't have the edge control it's in my bathroom right now but the edge control for she is bomb is the best one like ever like if you want a slick back bun and you have type 4 hair you need to try that glazy it's called i don't know if i like this i don't think it's necessary oh it smells and their products smell so good they smell like candy like this is a little thick i'm not gonna lie it can build up on your hair but i think something like that would be amazing for when i do like a sleek bubble braid or like braided ponytail style so my edges will stay in place all day with that like on a hot summer's day like that's that's the type i want to use hauled this at the beginning of this vlog and this is really good i like to use this for my edges actually they don't go anywhere eventually i feel like this kind of builds up but it doesn't have that very thick sticky feeling of like an edge control it's really like glue like your hair dries hard but it, it stays in place so i'm sure this will work well in the summertime too but this is the she is bomb edge control and it's so good please give this a try if you've been fed up with edge controls and they don't work for you try this because i've had that dilemma like i have very thick like hair around the edges of my face and just nothing will keep them down i mean my hair is 3c 4a um and it's tighter in like certain areas but like for the most part like my edges are like very very thick and like unruly and especially like my sideburns this will hold it down and you can swoop diddly doop all you need to these miel gels these miel gels that i showed in the beginning of this vlog this is not great I don't know what kind of maximum holds you're talking about, but this one is better. The Coil Sculpting Custard. Forget the bigger maximum hold one. This is the Talia Wahid Wajid Curly Curl Cream. I don't know. It's a very thick texture. I don't think this is meant to be a moisturizer and maybe that's where I went wrong because I'm I wanted to treat it like one I feel like maybe if I use this on top of the curls reparative leave-in for like a twist out for my damaged hair this is not it right now and this is what I'm gonna prohibit you from doing I originally took L'Oreal root touch-up and I sprayed this over my hair girl don't do it like i saw tiktok videos and people were just like yeah like it your hair feels like chalk and my hair started to break off exponentially exponentially i don't know it's it's late my hair broke off a lot because of this and um that's what i get i feel like this is just a, this is what it's it's for what it says it's a root touch-up like a quick root touch-up just your roots and then you go later on and get your hair colored but not an all over hair thing the igk one is best so thank you so much for coming to my ted talk about hair um i will incorporate some more videos about it because i don't want to leave people in confusion i'm actually like i've been wearing extensions like everyone's just like how'd your hair grow <laughs> babes i'm literally wearing extensions like i there's no way i'm literally on my hair journey right now and if you're on a hair journey too we can do it together but i will do a video speaking more in depth about styling my hair and extensions and whatnot and it's just so amazing because it's 2024 now and curly extensions exist and it's the best thing ever so so much and thank you for watching this vlog and listening to me. Hey, Dylan, killing, spinning.
Willing, willing, hey, willing, hey, money, huddle, gotta cut up, ladder, order, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, hey.